today we are going to learn some basic combinations concept in mathematics. So let's get started. Before we dive into combinations, let's ask ourselves what is combinations? Have you ever heard the word combination before? What is the first thing that comes across your mind when you think of combinations? Some of you might think of something like combining puzzles or building Legos. To start off, I will show you some examples. For the first example, let's say I have a combination of pancakes, fried eggs, spinach, tomato and avocado slices for my breakfast. Is this considered as combination? I'll give you a second to think about it. If you answer yes, then you are correct. This is actually an example of combination. Next, for the second example, the combination slot for my luggage is 748. Is this a combination? Hmm, let's have a moment to think about it. Nope, this is not a combination. So why this is not an example of combination? What does combination really mean? Let's find out the definition of combination. So, combination is a process of selecting or arranging objects or things where the order of that objects do not matter. Let's take a look at some examples to have a better understanding about this. Now, let's say you have a box full of chocolate bars and you want to choose 3 out of 10 chocolate bars that you have to give to your sister. In how many ways can you choose these chocolate bars? Well, let's say you want to choose according to your sister's favourite chocolate bars which is Kit Kat, Cadbury and Rollo. So you will take out Kit Kat, Cadbury and Rollo candy bars from the chocolate box that you have. Or you can also choose according to the brand such as the Cadbury chocolate bars. Then you will have Cadbury hazelnut, Cadbury whisper and also Cadbury dairy milk. Or, you can also choose the chocolate bars randomly. For example, you take out twirl, toffee crepes and aero chocolate bars from the box to give to your sister. The orders of selecting the chocolate bars do not matter. If so, there is so many ways then. There's definitely too many ways to count it by hand. So, how can we calculate all these possible combinations? Luckily, we have the combinations formula. So, this is the combinations formula where C represents the number of combinations, N represents the total number of objects in the sets, and R represents the number of selected objects. Now, let's use this formula to calculate the possible ways to choose the chocolate bars. Since we have 10 chocolate bars in total, and we need to choose 3 out of 10, therefore we will have 10 as our N and 3 as our R. So, we will have 120 possible ways to choose the chocolate bars. Now, let's go back to our previous examples where I said that the combination log is not a combination. So, why is that? A combination log is not a combination because the order that you put the numbers in actually does matters. Remember, in combination, the order is not important. For example, the combination log 748 is not the same as 478 or 784. The orders of the numbers in a combination log does matter. Alright, so now we will take a look at some useful applications of combinations in our real life. Combinations can be found in almost any computational molecular biology such as atoms, molecules and even in our DNAs and genes. Amazing, isn't it? Combinations are also used in communication networks, cryptography and network security. Encryption process involves manipulations of sequence of codes such as digits, characters and letters. Hence, they are closely related to combinatorics, possibly with intelligent encryption process. In scientific discovery, combinatorial sequences may become necessary in the process of yielding possible solutions. That's all. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!